There's nothing like a good vintage toy show when you're trying to track down some oddities, rarities, or those hard to find pieces for the old collection. You need them all? Yeah, kinda. Is that a, is that beta? It looks like a beta. That is awesome. Yeah, these for sure. <laughs> yes. Except for the cash? Yeah, oh, yeah, it'd be cash. It'd be cash. Hey man, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Good to see you, buddy. You too, man. Oh. Let me show you something. Cool. Remember I told you I was at that Marysville show and I found something? Yeah. Have you seen one of those before? That is what? Hold on, let me see. It is. They're called creepy bods. Yes. And they were made to put mad ball heads on. Yes. I just got a card back for one of these the other oh, day. Oh, did you? Yeah. It's like the only thing I've ever found before is a card back. Is that crazy? That's awesome. <laughs> the guy's like, I had this since I was a kid. We just had it in a... That's really neat. Did you know what it was when you saw it? I did, and I started asking. I'm like, that looks like Madball S. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's a knockoff. Those are hard to find. I know. <laughs> That's I awesome, like, man. Crap. Very cool. Um, I, don't, I don't think I have that one. Can I buy that from you? Sure. Right on. We do 90? Sure. Thanks, man. Thank you, sir. Thank Appreciate you, sir. you. Are you going to sell the creepy bods, or is that for your collection? No, I'm going to. Okay, good, gonna good, 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 good. So. You see the Joe bodies or the uh, GI Joes over there? No. The 1960s. Is it uh, toy department? I don't know. They seem like decent prices. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Cool, cool. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at, but yeah. they look yeah. like that stuff you like. Yeah. <laughs> all, that, all that weird old man stuff. Yeah. All right, Grandpa. <laughs> What's up, fellas? What's going on? How you doing? Hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? I wondered if you'd be here. I wondered if you'd be here. Ooh, yeah, look at the monsters and stuff. Oh, crap, man. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, knock off everything. Those knock Are they like the Galaxy, uh, Galaxy something? Yeah. I don't know. They're all Galaxy something. Oh, look at that, that's cool. Is that a... Is that beta? It looks like a beta. That is awesome. I'm real tempted by the werewolf face makeup kit. That's cool. Yeah. It's only 15. How much is the bottom one? Uh, I do 400 on 400. it. 400? Uh, is that like a European one or is yeah, that... Yeah, okay. a hairy one that was only released in Europe. Right. And I have another European one over here. Yeah. Glow in the dark clay. Oh, sweet. He's two. 200. Okay. I do want to grab some of these uh, Galaxy fellas. Okay. Um, what if we did all five of these? Like four plus all one. All these? 125. Sure, man. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thank you. I'll be back around. Appreciate that. How much you have on this guy right here? Uh, 275. 275? He's got his original whip. Okay. He's all, he's all there. Is that a Tomlin? Yep. Okay. Yeah, 275. Morlock. Morlock. Gotcha. Only 85. Oh, it's open. Okay. It's open. No. I'm looking everywhere for you. <laughs> I'm the wrong way. No. These are really cool. I've seen those before. What is it? It's uh, extraterrestrial. Okay, no. It's uh, Melapel and, or is it Mel Apple or Melapel? I always say Melapel. I think it's Melapel. Yeah. But then it's also Rimco, which I think is weird. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, these for sure. They're all complete <laughs> yes. except for the, the germ or the virus. They have the guy inside, but it's just missing the virus. Okay. Well, it's done its work over the years. <laughs> yeah. No, these are stupid hard to find. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's awesome. What did those come from? Kellogg's cereal, yeah, I think. Kellogg's, yeah, Kellogg's company, 88. And then, mm. like I said, I thought this was just a cool knockoff. Oh, that box is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. These for sure. Okay. They usually put them I picked some of these up for super cheap at a show one time, but, but I mean, they don't do much for me. Okay, no big deal. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that's let's probably see. where I've seen it, but yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> cool, but yeah, everything else plus the body wars. Okay, yeah, I'll cover that. 370, like 340. Sure, that works, man. Thank you. 40. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. See that mat ball hand pet? You're going to get a picture of that one? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Mexican bootlegs. Oh, those are pretty cool. From the 90s. Nuevo. <laughs> Luke Skywalker with a uh, sword of omens. It's yeah. <laughs> pretty. It's a pretty good one. Oh, that's. So my buddy's like, hey, if you see Froggy Flips, ask him to do a shout out to Ryan Dolan. He's, <laughs> Good dude, and I was like, "All right, I'll." I don't know if he's gonna be there or not. And then the guy showed me. And I was like, "No way!" That's See you. Yep, that's me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "No way, man." Ryan Dolan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's Ryan up, Ryan Dolan? Dolan. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks, cool, man. You got it. I better grab it's it real cool. fast. It is cool for you know, 15 cool bucks. Bag. Sure, if you don't mind. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah, these are all the yeah, hand painted animation cells, animation cells from Ewoks. Are they screen used? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, cool. Oh, he's got the football too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Why do you have the three cars up there, guys? Squeeze them. Yeah. Pops out. Pops out. Is it like. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and then uh, what are you doing on Touchdown Terror? 110. 110? I'll do 100. Okay. So. I literally was walking out the door yesterday to come here uh -huh. to set up and he finally arrived. I've been waiting for him. Oh, for really? Months. I got one, but you don't see him very often, so no. it's like, you know, don't want to back it. Pretty, pretty clean. Yeah, that's not bad. So 150 on both? I'll do you 140 on both. Yeah, I'll do that, man. Thank you. I'm I just got him. <laughs> I'm that kind of guy like I love all my toys and it's sad to watch them go. Oh I, yeah I get it for sure. Somebody else is gonna love them. And they'll come back around they always do. Yeah. Well that's just the thing. I've had double of everything. Right you know? exactly. There you go. Thank you sir. Thank you. Sir. Appreciate it man. Appreciate hey man. How's it going? Good good. Do you have any room at all on the jewel thief? Uh you want cash? Oh yeah, yeah it'd be cash. It'd be cash. Eight. Okay. 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 Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Okay. Good. Okay. Right. I can't count apparently. <laughs> awesome, Would you like man. a bag? Sure. If you don't mind, that'd be great. Thank you so much, man. Yes, sir. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Yeah. What do you have on these? The eyeballs and the teeth. I usually do a buck each. Yeah. Need them all? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> and you can do buck two of these. Um, I do fifty bucks for both bags. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. Cool. And what are these guys? These uh, little beautiful. That's uh, Remco Mighty Crusaders. Mighty Crusaders. Thanks, okay. It's an eyeball line. That's the full line. You got this, What are uh, they running? I, I do a hundred bucks for everything. This. Uh, this guy needs to replace that helmet on the hair. That's a cleaner figure. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. But so. there's, uh, one, two, there's eight for the line. They're not all complete. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are missing. This is very common for them. The shields. Oh, okay. Yeah, They've only got one good shield. It's really hard to find a good shield with them. Those are kind of funky. All right, so 50 plus 100. We're at 150 right now. All right. That works. You don't have to pull it out, but what is this uh, turtle box? Is that cards? Uh, yeah, it's this. I have it. Oh, actually, it's these. It's just the factory. Oh, just case, a case of case those. Of okay. Those. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I think it's cool because it's UK. Yeah. In pounds. That's kind of neat. How much is that? Uh, I'd do 100 bucks on it. Yeah, I'll do it for 100 bucks. What do you have on the little bug ones? I have their eggs. 
I would do 150 for the pair. For the pair with the eggs? Yeah. And then, um, what do you have on these guys? Uh, the Palmers, I yeah. was doing uh, uh, 30 a piece or two for 50. Okay. But if you took them all, I do like 20 a piece. Only. Okay. Yep, I'll do that too. 370. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank Appreciate you. it, man. Appreciate it. I don't know if it's raining or not. You can probably combine those. Oh, yeah. That bag and stuff. That'll be cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Good Brian, to see you. Good to see you. You too. Oh, look at those suckers. Some man ball holders. Oh. This, this came in. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> so you know him? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You can call my back. Right on. Yep. We were just talking. <laughs> What's your name, man? Brian. Brian. Okay. Nice to meet you. I saw those, I was gonna find them. <laughs> I love that mold. I can't get enough of that yeah, mold right yeah. there. Okay. Yes. Weird ball wrestlers? Yeah, uh, yeah. I've got a whole bag of those in Shoot, man, I was on my way out, now I'm gonna make another pile. <laughs> I was done. Oh, here's some uh, yeah, I saw those gladiators. Like, like, I'm totally out. I bought. I just had to have Dad buy that for me because I didn't. Oh, that's have awesome! <laughs> love it. I love what? it. Let's do my math. What about that pile? How does uh, one seventy-five sound? Awesome, man! Thank you so much. One fifty seventy. Yeah, I could do math for a second. That's right. Thanks, man. The uh, folders oh, right there are awesome. Those, those, those are so too. cool. They came, they came in the mail yesterday. I like I saw the mailman pulling around. <laughs> I called my wife. Said, Perfect. Amy, where are you at? I don't have the mailbox. Okay. Like, I'll be home at five. That's okay. so cool. Awesome, man. Thank you so hey, much. Good, good to see you guys. Man. Thanks, yes, man. There's nothing like a good vintage toy show when you're trying to track down some oddities, rarities, or those hard-to-find pieces for the old collection. I traveled to Eaton, Ohio for the Western Ohio Toy Show. It was the first of what is going to be a twice-yearly event. You may remember late last year when I went to the Springfield Toy and Comic Show. Exact same people, but they outgrew that space immediately. So rebranded, new name, new place, and it's only going to keep getting bigger. I'll put their link in the description below so you can keep track of their schedule, but it's a show I highly recommend. On a personal level, my taste keeps getting a lot more specific and maybe even a little bizarre, which makes finding the good stuff a little trickier. This show did not disappoint. Found way more than I was expecting to. Opened up the door for a few new things and even got to check off, for lack of a better word, another grail from the list. So real quick, let's take a look at everything. Can't go into too much detail about some of this stuff. One, because there's just too much. And two, because I'm still learning about most of it. Straight away, I ran into my buddy Jim, who just happened to have a carded blurt ball that I did not have. These were made by Ertl in 1991. Just not something I see very often, especially with a decent displayable card like this. This one is called Crokey Bug Chuck, so of course I should have this one in the collection. Got a few piles of some smaller figures. Up top we have Palmer Monster from the 1960s. Got four of the King Kongs, four of the It, the Terror from Beyond Space, and of course three Frankenstein's monsters. All different colors. A few have been painted, but I hardly ever see these things. I think I have one that I found at a garage sale last year. Uh, so when I saw this many, of course I had to buy them all. Moving down here to the Weird Ball wrestlers. Didn't even know these were a thing. I, I assume they're related to the Weird Ball line that was kind of like a Mad Balls knockoff line. No clue, really. Still have to look these things up, but I thought they were pretty great. They kind of look like muscle figures or something. Again, all different colors, and they're small, so they're easy to display. The last pile of small figs would be all of these Rimco Mighty Crusaders. Another line that I wasn't really aware of. I've probably seen one or two here and there. Thought they were pretty cool. Got the entire line plus a couple extras for a hundred bucks. Various accessories. Some are missing some things, but thought that would be a pretty good way to dive into something like this. Should I decide to continue collecting them? Not really sure how much I will attempt to complete these. At least I know what they are now. Got a nice little group of knockoffs. Uh, I believe these are either Galaxy Warriors or 
Galaxy Fighters. I never know which is which, but you know the look when you see it. Got five of these total, a couple have shields. It's something that I'll kind of upgrade as I find better examples and more accessories, but definitely a pretty decent little starting point for something I didn't have very much of to begin with. Got a few more curiosities that I've dabbled in a little bit. Rocks and bugs and things. The more I see these, the more I really like them. These are two of the actual bugs. All I have so far is a rock, but they definitely have a pretty cool little action. If I can get it to work, squeeze on the back of it, this thing pops out here. Happy to add two more of those. Have a couple Arco Otherworld figures. This is something I'm not gonna get too heavy into, but I did like these two, so it's always nice to have kind of a little bit of a representation to these different cool lines, even if you don't wanna go all in with them. Got these two bags of uh, vintage Halloween costume pieces. I'm assuming these were probably like uh, bubblegum ball machine premiums or something. Have this entire bag of eyeballs that also have the little paperwork cards with them, and then all these different color fangs right here. I am working on a little quarter machine display, and I think something like this might just be perfect to fill it up with. The Madball knockoff game was pretty strong at this show. Got this cool looking guy right here. Have no real nuggets of knowledge to share with you other than it looks pretty awesome. Also picked up this little eye popping guy right here. Don't know what he is, but if you squeeze the back of him, his eyeball pops out like that. Looks like a weird little fish or something. But buying this kind of got me a better deal on the old uh, touchdown terror here, the super for mad balls. Now, I already have one of these, but I'm kind of feeling like anytime I see one for under 100 bucks, I'm probably going to pick it up because I kind of think the value is going to keep going up on stuff like this. All I really need now from this line is Goal Eater, the soccer ball. But like I said, if you find them for a decent price, you might as well pick them up because they're not getting easier to find. Got this 1985 Werewolf the Face costume makeup. This was a booth I kept going back to. My buddy Tim saw this at first and, and was kind of interested in it, so I will give him dibs if he ends up wanting it, but I thought it was pretty great, and it was only 15 bucks. Had to make sure one of us went home with it. From that same booth, I picked up the Baby Boglins, these adorable little critters right here. Ran into a couple of these like a year and a half ago, passed on them then, and I was not going to make that same mistake again. I did not know how hard they would be to track down. These both come with their eggs, so I got to figure out how to display them with these, but I'm excited to finally have a couple of these little guys. The last thing I got from that booth was this store display box of Deluxe Movie Edition TMNT cards. Of course, I've seen the uh, movie cards before. They came in an A pack and a B pack, both containing 66 cards, half of the 132 card set. So an A pack and a B pack makes up an entire set of these cards. Inside the box, there are six A's and six B's, so six complete sets of cards. Now, obviously these cards aren't worth a whole lot on their own, but I had never seen the actual display box before. You know I'm a sucker for display boxes, had to pick it up. My buddy Ben from the Toy Horde always seems to have a box of stuff put up for me that he thinks I might be interested in, and he's usually pretty spot on. I think I bought Bought almost the entire box of stuff that he had put back other than the cards but just some really interesting stuff here we have the uh, 1982 Remco Melapel extraterrestrial this is a bizarre line with some sort of a uh, decoder function on there not exactly sure how it works be cool to have the set of these all loose because they just look pretty awesome all these different colors blue and purple and yellow and green so something I'm gonna have my eye out for from here on out likewise anything Boglins of course I'm gonna pick up these are Kellogg cereal premiums of some sort, like little stamps. Definitely not an expensive piece by any means, but probably one of my favorite pickups from the day. Got the Remco Zybots 4 changeable robots mint on card. I always like the uh, knockoff Transformers and GoBots way more than I like the real stuff, so definitely had to pick up this one. Got another bizarre little uh, knockoff generic piece. This is a Nebular Warlords. It's got Yurak in there and something called Robo Ram. Thought the box was incredible on this one. It is from 1985. In my opinion, the artwork on the back is probably the best part of it. That's a pretty incredible little scene right there for something that looks so generic on the front. And the last thing I picked up from Ben were two Body Wars play sets. Uh, another piece you just don't see very often, especially with accessories. I have two very, very incomplete ones in my collection. These are the second two I've ever come across, so I had to scoop these as well. These do have all the missiles. Inside, we're just missing the viruses, so I'm getting closer and closer to finally having at least one complete Body Wars piece. They just don't come up very often, but they're so awesome that I'm gonna keep looking. Ran into my old buddy Brian that I met in Zenith 
Mania early last year had some stuff I just could not resist, like the Mad Balls folders, another oddball piece from outside the actual figure line. Tracking down the merchandise from Mad Balls is pretty challenging, but it's a lot of fun when you finally come across some. We have three different folders here, and I'm definitely going to kind of set these up and make them display pieces. And then he also had some smaller little Mad Balls knockoffs. This one kind of looks like the Ugly Bull sculpt. I, I buy this every time I see it in uh, different configurations, different sizes. One of the coolest knockoff sculpts, in my opinion. A little squishy witch head. I think this is one of the water squirters. You can see the hole right there in her mouth. A cool little yo-yo that had a nice little Mad Balls look to it. It's called a Wild and Wacky Yo-Yo. Still in the packaging, easy to display. Maybe I'll open it and play with it. I don't know. And then he also had this little case with two muscle figures. We have two claws right here, the red and the flesh colored. I'm kind of trying to get all of the claws. So far I have blue, green, flesh. This makes red and now I have a spare flesh that I can, I can sell off. And I think there might be one or two more colors left to try to track down, perhaps a purple one. I'm having quite a bit of luck finding these. They're definitely some of the pricier sculpts in the entire muscle line, more than the dollar or two figures that you normally see. But it's been a lot of fun trying to build this little collection. The biggest pickup from the entire day would most certainly be the carded jewel thief from the Remco Conan line. Super tricky figure to track down. Finding one complete is an even bigger challenge. Finding one carded is insanely difficult. The uh, trickiest part to this figure is that chest piece right there. Sometimes you'll see him pop up on eBay with the weapon, but finding one with an intact chest chest plate and the weapon, that is tough. My goal was always to have this guy loose complete, but when you're presented with an opportunity, sometimes you just kind of have to bite the bullet and make it happen. Now the card on this, uh, looks like it's kind of sun faded. It's not really bent up, which is cool, but as you can see, some of the words aren't as vibrant as they once were. The bubble is yellowed, but for the price I paid, I think it was a really good deal. I picked this up from the toy department booth, and they are known for having some pretty rare stuff at pretty great prices, so I definitely felt comfortable grabbing this. It looks like there was a graded example that was graded at an 80 or an 85, that sold not too long ago for right around $2,500. So very comfortable with what I paid for this. You only got to buy it once. You know what I'm saying? There was an entire line that went along with this. This is pretty much the only one that I was concerned with getting. It's the one I saw. It's the one I bought. It's the one I'm very, very happy with. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye.